Y'all got me? Y'all got me now? Y'all got me? Put thumbs up if you got me. Pump thumbs up if you got me. All right, let me turn this off real quick. All right, y'all got me? Got you. All right. This is a celebration. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. This is your host, EQ, and welcome to The Cypher. The Cypher is a person, place, a thing within my circumference. The understanding of my cypher is peace. This is episode number four of The Cypher, the first episode of The Verses. We're going to get it. We ain't going to play no games. Today's episode of Versus Battle is his 10 against my 10. The best date night since for winter. I don't know what he's choosing. He doesn't know what I'm choosing. You're going to put fire in the chat for me? Fire in the chat. Let me see fire in the chat. And you're going to put money, money bags in the chat for my guy, Durian, the bow tie fragrance guy. Put money in the bag for Durian. We're going to get ready to rumble in here. We ain't playing no games. So we're going to talk about the 10 best date night sense. But again, let me give you the rules of the verses. The first person who goes first is going to do his. He's going to go for his number 10. I'm going to do my 10, 9, 9, and so on. When we get to the halfway point, we're going to switch halves. So if you went last on number five, you will be going first on number six. This is like a halftime, right? So we're going to do our verses. But before we get in, let me give my man a proper intro. This is a brother that has been doing videos since July 25th, 2017. He has 689 videos in his catalog. He has over 109 YouTube followers. He started off his channel as Pretty Boy Fragrances. If y'all don't know why he called himself that, I see him laughing in the back. I can, they can't hear you yet, brother. The reason, if you're not hip, he's also a member of the illustrious Kappa Alpha Psi Incorporated. He is a husband. He is a father. He is our brother. He is your other. Let's put money bags in the chat for Darian, the bow tie fragrance guy. Get what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Can y'all hear me? Put money in, put money bags in the chat if you can hear him. Let's see some thumbs up. Can you hear me? I can hear you, brother. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, on? yeah, yeah. I feel like doing oh, a freestyle. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo, 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 check, check. My microphone checker, microphone checker. We about to do a battle, so go in the south. Oh, 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 oh. I see, I see, I see. We bought, we in all black, man. It's a battle, it's a funeral, right? Yes, we got a funeral. What's going on, brother? Suburbs in a hearse. We killing them. Two suburbs <laughs> in a hearse. Coming out like their presidents, right? All we need is the makeup, the That's makeup it, of the back. So we all the way live. So we gonna go ahead and start this thing off. We are gonna start with with fire straight off the bat. But before we start. Why don't you define what is your definition of a date night scent? Well, first and foremost, man, listen. <laughs> when I think date night, it's just one word. It don't require a whole lot of explanation. It's one word. It's four letters. And that's mm. it. Period. Mm. Point blank. End of discussion. The fragrances, see, when I think about date night fragrances, I'm, it's a, they're suggestive fragrances, all right? suggested so i don't really do a whole lot of clean fresh happy fragrances mass appealing scents because that's not date night appropriate there ain't nothing mm. sexy about that you feel me mm. feel you. i'm talking about sexy we talking about roses we talking about chocolate we talking about booze and tobacco everything that says that i'm ready to have a good time so that's a sexy fragrance to me that's a date night fragrance how about you I Absolutely. I'll add on to that. I'll say it's something where you want to be mysterious, alluring, confident, and something that draws somebody in. Yes, that's sir. So to add on to what you're saying, that's how I would also describe a date night fragrance. So for everybody viewing in the chat, this is how it's going to go. 
have your pens ready for those who like to write down the fragrances we talking about. The things we're going to talk about in these fragrances are we're going to hit six key points in each fragrance. Number one point, we're going to talk about the scent, the overall scent, what it smells like. Um, just an overall quick review. You've seen it in all our videos really quick. We're going to talk about occasions, the type of occasion. I know it's date night, but is it a first date? Is it a second date? Is it a formal date? It, we can go anywhere with this. So we're going to talk about occasions. What occasions will we wear this on? We're going to talk about projection and longevity. How does it perform on our skin? Again, remember. Just because it performed that way on our skin doesn't mean it's going to do it on your skin. Test <laughs> your fragrances out. Please we'll get do. into the, absolutely. We'll get into the compliment rating and the compliment factor. On a one out of 10, how, is it highly complimented or is it something you, we wear for ourselves? Because there are some fragrances that just individually make us feel good and just want to rock out. We'll talk about the type of person that'll wear this fragrance. Is it somebody in a certain age range? How are they dressed? We'll get all into all that again. Wear well, your fragrance is how you like. We're just giving our own opinions. Take it for what it is. And lastly, but not least, how to wear the fragrance. How many sprays have we put on with each individual's fragrance? Because fragrance has variations. So some fragrances may take five, six. Some may take one or two. So th that's what we're going to hit on. So with that said, I'm inviting you to the house. Um, Adrian, real quick. Adrian, um... Don't come on this chat right now. We might have an opportunity at the end of the battle to bring you on, brother. So just watch on YouTube. If we bring you on, you can give our two cents and, you know, give us some love. But right now, it's just going to be me and Darian. Got you? All right, cool. Um, With that being said, Darian, I'm going to go ahead and let you start it off at your number 10. Let's go. Like, let me tell you how you say it one time. Come on in, sit down. Let's build. Let's build. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it, baby. Listen, like he said, hold on, man, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The pins out, huh? No, I'm about to say, I, I always miss some housekeeping. As our guy, as our guy, the illustrious Kevin Sammies would say, we gotta get some housekeeping out the way. What was your? It's formal, <laughs> right? What What was your center today? What was your center today? Let's start there. Man, what did I wear today? Man, I get my days confused. I'm older than I might be older than you, man. My 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 brain don't work as good anymore. I can't. Hey, well, I'm trying. To remember, I'm seriously trying to remember what I wore today. <laughs> it's all good I'll, I'll start mine off and make you might remember but my center today i wore um a core du desert by andy tower mm. this, this is a very ambery woody very dry dusty fragrance this isn't one you wear when you're trying to seek compliments this is one where you're extremely confident within yourself it has a leathery feel a dry sandy feel with the ambergris. I feel like there's a little bit of birch, almost like okay. being in, in a Middle Eastern um, souk. There's spice markets. A lot of spice, I believe, some cumin's in here. So it's a spicy, dry, ambery, woody, leathery scent. That's how I would describe okay. that fragrance. As, so, as only tower would do it. Only tower would do it. That so let's go ahead and start it. sound like a tower fragrance. But I think my I wore Santa 33 today. You okay, know, it was a okay. Casual day, so. I, I wanted to enjoy something that, you know, I could pick up all day long. You know how that, that that's a sandalwood, cedar. To me, it's really sandalwood and cedarwood. I mean, you can talk about Absolutely. other stuff within it, but that's really, you know, to me, primarily what you get, sandalwood and cedarwood. So jumping off the skin all day long, man, I still can smell it right now, as a matter of fact. So listen, if you want something that is going to, in the words of my man, equality, perform and project. And project. Man. <laughs> That, that I know that's right. That's the one you want to put on your skin, man. Seriously. Santal 33. Lay Labo. All right. Let's go ahead and get to it. Go ahead with your number 10. You're going to start off. Start it off. I, I'm, I'm going to start it off like this, man. I got to start it off this way. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> listen, man. I know uh, Big E. Big E. I'm going to call him Big E. I, I'm notorious for giving people nicknames. This is Big E, baby. I know Big E said it was a battle. And, you know, we, we do what we do. But uh, because it's a battle. And because he, I guess you could say he tipped his hand a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and because he let me go first, just in case, like Jaheim said, just in case I don't make it home tonight. I'm going to go ahead and do this one first. <laughs> my habit. Listen, Linda, listen, listen. Listen, man. I know I said that 
when I think about date night fragrances, I go super sexy. You think richer, darker fragrances. You think tobacco. You think leather. You think musk. Maybe even some ooh, strawberries, roses, and chocolate. All the things that a lady loves. I got to have two. I brought two on the list that I feel like will be good for more of a first date. Mm. Now, hear me out. A first date to me, sometimes, when I think first date, obviously, you don't know this person in most cases. As good as, I, of course, I may know my wife, obviously. Mm. So sometimes on a first date, although I believe that most women, if you were to read pretty any much any survey that's taken, likes a man that smells good. Mm. But like I always say, most of the world is not comprised of what we would refer to as frag heads. So... Whereas I think a frag head could dig tobacco oud, a first date might not really vibe with that. So I wanted to give two things that had a little bit more of a fresher scent profile. Fresh and clean. And as I always say on mm. my channel, when you can give them a little bit of sweetness, right? With a little bit of something they can appreciate themselves, some florals. And you can mix that up with some creaminess. Pause. <laughs> and I think you're doing yourself a good service, my brother. So my first fragrance that I want to bring to the stage, coming to the stage all the way from <laughs> <laughs> oh man, lit this right here, Valiant. Oh, Bo de Sia, the Victorious. Hey. Man, you this don't have no barriers. This don't. I, I'm breaking the rules a little bit. This don't have no rules tied to this one. Mm. This right here is money. All right? Absolutely. Now, what I love about this fragrance is when you can get a fresher, more floral scent profile like this, and it can last, then you're doing yourself a favor. Now, this is an expensive fragrance, so as we always say, be responsible, sample. But, man, what you getting out of this one right here, man, out of Valiant, it's creamy. It's a creamy orange sickle fragrance. I'm going to just say it like that. You get some nice creamy florals in the opening. You got yang and lang in here. Primarily, you got some mandarin orange. And you got orange blossom. And I think neroli is in here as well. So those white florals, and they talk about yang and lang sometimes having a banana kind of nuance to it. And I, I really picked that up in this fragrance. That mandarin orange, that creaminess from sandalwood. And you have a double dose of sweetness on the dry down with tonka bean and ba. Good God from Zion. The doors of the church are now open. You talk about a creamy, sexy fragrance. In my humble opinion, it don't get much better than this one. Now, as far as where you can wear it on a date, again, I'm thinking more of a first date type fragrance because mm. it's a little bit safer than a lot of the other ones I'm going to come with tonight. So I would do this more on a first date. All right. First date appropriate. I really don't care where you're going because this transcends settings. Mm. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Now, I did a video the other day, if you guys have not seen it, where I talked about there's three kind of three levels of dress when I associate with a date. You want to go something a little bit more formal? I'm talking about a five-star restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Where they got valet. You got to have valet. <laughs> it can't be five-star. You know, at least got valet. So I'm talking about a five star. We talk about more of a, a more, more formal type setting, not formal, but in this setting, we would say, or in this context, we would say more formal. And then you all you have your smart casual situation where you got you can't wear jeans, but you got to wear at least smart casual, at least some slacks in a blazer or some type of, you know, again, smart casual type look. And then you have, of course, your casual. So this can transcend all settings. So I, I'm not going to restrict it to a setting. As far as who I can see, well, first of all, you got to most of the time, you're going to be at least 18 to go on a date. So <laughs> so I would say at least 25 and up on this one because, number one, the cost of it, most of us when we're under 25, we ain't spending this kind of money on a fragrance. Let's just keep it a buck. So I would say at 25 and older, but my God, first date, freshness, fresh to death. I'm putting this on the skin, baby. Valiant from Boulder City Victorious. Now, with a fragrance like this, I have also a 357 spray routine that I pretty much follow most of the time. 
with this one, I go five sprays. Boom, boom, back of both the wrists and one on the chest. That's my spray routine for a fragrance like this. This falls into the five spray category for me. And all I'm saying is at the end of the day, man, it's good for a first date because even if she's not a huge fan of fragrances, this is kind of safe. So on the first date, I like to play a little bit safe. So the first one, Valiant, Bodicea, the Victorious. Again, if any of y'all miss these names, don't fret. When the video's uploaded, I'm going to write it all out and it'll be pinned in the top of the comments. So don't worry. That was a fire. Number 10, my guy. I do own that fragrance. And I concur with everything <laughs> you said. Everything. Come on, sir. Everything. Um, everybody put some money in the chat for Darian. That 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 was heat. Okay. I already know you're coming with the heat, brother. Well, yeah. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> for me, I'm wanted to do something for a first date as well. You know, if you're gonna start off number 10, you might as well go with the first date. Come on. Now. I wanted to go with something that's the scent exudes confidence, sweet, okay. sexy, not too complex, highly complimented by both genders. So something that also goes unisex. I feel that's safe, but has some woodiness and some smokiness to it, but not too much smoke. So that scent I'm going to go with is from the house of Savoir Fair. In that soul cafe, people know how I feel about this fragrance. Every time it's in stock, it sells out. Again, first date it is not overly complex, it's safe, but yet very alluring. Occasions, this is a bar kind of fragrance. You're going out to a bar or a steak date, you can really diversify this fragrance. You really can. It'll just work all the way around. I would do more casual. I couldn't see this like tuxedo suit and tie. Listen, y'all, weigh our fragrances however you want to. But me personally, I have other fragrances I would prefer to wear with that. But this is a real nice casual, you know, semi dressed up sweaters, leather jackets, you know, kind of bar, cigar lounge, whatever you kind of into steak dinner, seafood. This is this is nice. You're getting out the Maserati for the night. This isn't a bad one to wear. Um, projection and longevity. For me, this isn't a room filler. I put about, with this, if I'm on a date, because listen, people, in my philosophy, there's two types of ways you're going to wear your fragrance, right? You're going to wear it on, on a date, you're wearing it to impress the person, one person. And then there's a way you wear your fragrances where you want to impress many. Well, on a date, it's just the lady across from you. So for me, I do no more than I do about four sprays on this. I do two on the shoulders. I do one in the center of the chest. Why? Because I'm going to give her a hug. That's where her head's probably going to land, right? <laughs> and then I'm going to do one on the back of the neck just to give myself a nice siage around me. So as I move, it's hitting me in the shoulders. And depending on what's going on, I might want put one under the leg. In the crease of the leg. Why? And I'll tell you why. People don't know about this one. I'm going to tell you why. As you walk by tables, well, I'm 6'3", right? But either way, odor rises to the top. As you walk by tables, people are setting down. Your legs, thigh level, waist level is walking right by everybody else's tables. They're going to catch that siage, that wasp. They're going to be like, dang, look at them. And you know, your woman is... You're, you are complimenting your woman. That is the prize. We Let's make no mistake. The woman is the prize. <laughs> but they're going to say, look at that brother. How he get that? That brother shot. So that's what I go with those sprays. Um, compliment factor is through the roof. Again, highly complimented. Um, sells out everywhere. Type of person this is for. I would range it anywhere 24 and up. It has good diverse. It's very diverse in how you can wear this. And again, I already gave y'all my spray routine. So that's my number 10 from Savoir Fair. That's Soul Cafe. Okay, okay, okay. I like that right. one. Put some money, put, put some fire in the chat for me. Give me some fire. Give me some fire if y'all rock Soul Cafe. Let me hear you. Let me see some fire. All right. Who rocking Soul Cafe? <laughs> Let's see some cold Soul Cafe in the chat. All right. We going to number nine. Now, 
we 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 about to get busy. What you got for your number nine? Number number nine. Number nine. My my my. The thing I love about this fragrance journey is man, just discovery. Discovery. Mm. When you find something new, whether it be a fragrance itself or just a note that you enjoy, uh, one of the things I love so much about this hobby, we talk about notes, something that I've come to to know that I love, and it pairs well with a lot of notes and accords that I love, and it's one of the sexiest, what we would call as a fruit note in this plum. Mm. So my number nine fragrance is from the house of B D K Parfums. Mm. This is the back rose. To back rose. Listen, man. <laughs> plum. Plum is one of the most sensual fruit notes that I put my nose on. All right. I know apple smells good. And a lot of other notes that fall under the note, the fruit category. But plum is the most sensual and the most sexy that I put my nose on. And it goes good with amber, goes good with tobacco, some of my favorite notes and fragrances. And we got some of that in this one. Tobacco rolls from BDK Parfums, man. You get that plum in the open again. Very sensual. That's the, really the only way that I can describe the note of plum in this fragrance. It's extremely sensual. Now you have some a little bit of fresh citrus with lemon in there as well to kind of keep it fresh. And that's what's so magnetic about this scent when it opens up is you get this, this I call it the yin and yang, the yin and yang of the plum and lemon combination that's kind of working hand in hand in the opening. And when it starts to dry down, man, we just get super sexy on. We got rose, we got chocolate and tobacco. Done. Period. Period. Anytime you got, anytime you can throw some rose in there, which is a note that is very familiar to women, and I think it's been more popularized in men's fragrances over the more recent history here. Um, women respond to rose because I always say this: things that they can relate to, and especially if you dress. I'm in all black right now. That's very masculine. When you can be presented, present yourself very in a very masculine way, and this some a suit. You throw some rolls on. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. He told you to take your pants. I'll take your pants out. This is free game. I'm telling you, this right here is sexy, sexy, sexy. And I'm telling you on date nights, that's what it's all about. Now, occasions for this one. I would go, in it when I talked about the different levels, I wouldn't really go, to, well, you actually could do all three with this as well. There's really no, I'm not restricted to it. But I do see myself with this one. We got a place here, uh, we used to have it, at least it's called Speak Easy, it's like a lounge. Mm. All right, they do like a little bit of jazz. You know, you go in there, people smoking cigars, you know, you got your favorite drink or whatever the case may be. Real low lights. Mm. I could see somebody rocking to back rolls in that type of setting. Just you and your lady just vibing out to some nice jazz. That's what I see this fragrance going with again, because it has chocolate rolls and it has that tobacco in there. So. When I think about setting, sometimes that's how I kind of make that correlation to tobacco on here. So this is a five sprayer for me. Just like I said with the last fragrance, one, two, three, four, run on the chest. You know what I'm saying? Let the fragrance do the rest. But this is a sexy, creamy, rose, chocolate, and plum fragrance. And it is perfect for a date night setting. Again, ages, most of the time I talk about stuff, this is definitely a 25 and older type of fragrance. Just don't really see anybody younger than that rocking this. Although, again, as we say, you can wear what you want, but that's a sexy fragrance. It's from the house of BDK Parfums to back rose. That, that was a good one. And that was that's an audible one. for me. That's that is a people <laughs> that is that is a good one. It is an audible. I have it here on the desk. So it was oh, an man. audible. <laughs> yeah, and everything you said about this chocolate rose kind of spicy. If if you all oh do God. not have this for a date, they you're Get missing out. Life. Get, Get in, in your life. In your life. In your life. That's a good one. All Get right. In your life. I, I see people throwing them throwing the money up, so they know that is fire. <laughs> so I gotta. Mm, what I'm gonna do? Where I'm gonna go? Okay, <laughs> I got one for you. 
Come on, sir. This, this fragrance. Let me tell you about this. If you spray this in a room, this is a <laughs> unisex fragrance. If you spray this in a room and walk out, it will linger for hours. Linger in the air for hours. You do not need a lot of sprays on this. This is floral, musk, and amber. This is okay. about as sensual of a fragrance as you can get. It doesn't matter who wears this. This is from the house of Rosendo Matu. Okay. And this is number five. Number five. Listen, people. This here, the perform, this lasts all day long. <laughs> I love to wear it, but even love to smell it on a woman is that. This is one, my man, brother. If you don't have, you gotta let the you gotta let Mrs. Bota, Madam Bota, smell this. You you gotta get it. Do I have number five? What's what's the note? What's the uh, number five? You have three notes on the front. What's the um, three notes? Yeah, it's the, it's the floral, amber, and sensual musk. I, I think you might have talked about it, but you don't talk about it as much as you should, brother, because <laughs> this is fire. Come um, on, man. So let's so that's the scent. occasions with this. Um, this. Because it has that sensual musk with this almost vanillic and balsamic amber, you can wear this formally. You can wear this formally or casually. It doesn't matter. Now, projection and longevity. I already told y'all. If I spray this in this room, leave, come back later on tonight, I will still smell it in this room. That's in the air. That's not even putting on clothes. Um, the compliment factor. Highly complimented from both sexes. Women, if you're watching, get it in your life. Men, if you're watching, get it in your life. This is a fragrance that you and your lady can wear and can get great love on this. Um, Type of person this for, because of the floral and musk, a lot of these fragrances, especially with some of the price points, going to always be a kind of 25 and up. And I stand by that, a 25, but... A confident 25. I really want to go more 30 and up because you start dealing with florals and some musk. So I want to go 30 and up. And how to wear this. Oh, man. I might just, if it's a date, and I love to get steak, right? I love a good steakhouse. I might mm -hmm. only do two sprays of this. I'm going to be honest. Because she's going to smell <laughs> you from across the table. Again, people, if you're going out to a club or to a bar, as a single man, and you're trying to pick up whatever you're into, whatever you're into, that makes more sense to wear more sprays because you're trying to attract a lot of people. But when you're trying to attract the person right across from you, you don't need much. And with this, this is a two spray is about what I do with this while going on a date. Again, this and this is number five. That's that fire. This I this think, is I, think I have that one. If I'm not mistaken, I know I got two from the brand. I'm pretty sure it's that one. If you do not have it, no, no, seriously. If you do not have <laughs> it, you need. I know what you like. You like this kind of amber floor. I like it. Yeah. You know our brother, our brother Kevin Samuels. Like like this is this is that's it. You you have to get this in your life. If you don't have it. I got to check it, man. I, like I said, I know I got two from the brand and I, that may be one of them, but I got to go back and take a look. But it's, I, I will tell you this, it sounds like my kind of thing, but as a lot of people are probably going to do, I'm going to go back and look at this. So I got to, what I don't have, I'll, I'll make sure I pick it up. <laughs> all right. All right. What you got, what you got for us on number eight? First of all, let me say, man, the quality fragrances. Oh. From PG County, Maryland. PG County, Maryland. Born in a manger. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, but listen, this is a, let me say this real quick, because I was supposed to say this at the beginning. This is a good dude right here, man. Um, you know, I, I'll say that for the end. Good dude right here, though. Appreciate you having me on, brother. No, I appreciate you coming on. And again, we, we'll do that on the end. We're going to battle it out. You know, everybody wants us to really battle. But, you know, this is, at the end of the day, people, there's no losers in this. The who wins is Fragcom, the viewer. You better believe it. It shows collaboration. I, I didn't have to beg this brother to come on and do this. 
he just came on and showed love. He said without a doubt. And that's how quick. But let's let's get back to this battle. We, we, listen, we'll share love like a football game. Yeah, yeah, because you're a Dallas Cowboy fan and I, I'm a Commanders fan. So let's let's keep it there for right now. We, oh we'll God. shake at the end. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We're going to have to oh. shake at the end. Uh, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. The All right, let's go. Right. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, man, listen. I don't have no words for this. As a matter of fact, Equality just mentioned the late, great Kevin Samuels. Now, you love him or hate him or whatever. Me and Kevin were cool. It's my frat brother. We did some lives just like me. We know me and Equality is showing love right now. We did some lives and stuff like that. And I'm going to have to echo his sentiments on my number eight fragrance. I'm going to give you some instructions before you wear this. First of all, it should come with a warning label. <laughs> it should have in a little side pocket in the box when you get it, a side, a birth control. Or if you're too intoxicated that night, you have plan B and C pills. The fragrance is from the house of the harmonists. Hip, no tithing, fire. When I talk about this fragrance, I have to slow down a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta take your time on this yeah. kind of stuff right here, my brother. I'm gonna tell you, rose is in it. Mm. All right, you have a smokiness, and I. It has to be a, a combination somehow of the spiciness from cinnamon with the Apopanax, maybe how they play off one another, but it's a very smoky fragrance. It's spicy. You have a, my favorite spices in the opening of, is all spice. You got pimento, a uh, pimento. Mm -hmm. So you have this combination of cloves, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And all I can say is that it is super sexy. Hypnotizing fire, like I said, she'll come with a warning label. Because, like Kevin said, any woman within that comes within a six foot radius of you is going to immediately start ovulating when they smell this on you. And if you rock in the all black like I'm doing tonight, that's GO. Game over. Game over. This is a five sprayer for me as well, which a lot of my fragrances are. You're only going to hear about five and three sprays from me on this list because I don't really have anything that's, that's overly citrusy or floral that requires seven sprays. This is five sprays. And this is definitely a nice night out on the town steakhouse. You know, like I said, me and my wife went to Morton's, uh, which is a nice steakhouse there in Charlotte. Could have wore this. I actually wore something else on this list, but you could have wore this. This is definitely can go formal. Uh, more dressed up, and you can definitely go smart casual on this. I wouldn't really do casual. I ain't wearing jeans with this because it deserves more respect than that. But it's from the house of the harmonists. This is hypnotizing. Fire. Brother, that was, hold on, what happened to my link? Hold on, I think I lost, hold on, get me, get me back here. Give me one second, just a, just a minor technical difficulty on for me. I can sing and entertain them. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Hypnotizing fire is is good. I mean, when you talk about date night sensuality, also easy to wear, not overly complex. No, it is. It is, it is, it is money in the bag. It is money in the bag. Now, hmm, for my number eight, for my number eight fragrance, this fragrance here, this is a fragrance that a lot of people don't talk about. It's from a beloved house in Fragcom. Within this fragrance house, they have different specialties or different groups of fragrances. This one is from the Join the Club line. 
Ah. This is one that doesn't get mentioned, but it is. To my notes of everything I've smoked so far from there, besides uh, Torino 22, I don't think I got my nose on that yet. This is probably the best one. To me, this is what you need for a date night scent. This is ivory root. Uh. Now, <laughs> people do not talk about this beauty. They do not talk about it. This is, because they don't put notes in there. But on this, I sprayed it while you was talking. It's like some maybe some sandalwood, some spices, like some cinnamon or maybe some nutmeg. Very Ooh. creamy, vanillic, ambery, woody. This is, it performs like a champ. I get over eight hours on this. After eight hours, I'll stop counting. Because listen, y'all, we talking about date night. I don't know about <laughs> you all listening. It doesn't take me eight hours plus. <laughs> I don't need these fragrances to last over eight hours. Let's be very clear. Yes, dinner, sir. dinner. we're going to sit there and we're going to talk for a while, have good conversation just besides eating when you're really vibing, right? Especially if you're talking first, first date night. But I don't need all day to seal the deal. I only need a fragrance to last four, maybe five hours in this category. In this one, my friends, if you have not gotten your nose on ivory root, it is beyond this world. Sensual, sexy, warm, just very cozy fragrance, but performs. Uh, occasions, again, I can I would dress this up. Not super formal, not black tie, like special, let's say like, uh, maybe not a gala. Because I just got other things I would prefer to wear at a gala. I just have other things I would prefer to wear that's even on this list. But casually to, to dressed up is how I would, um, steakhouse, seafood, dinner, that's how I would wear that. Um, projection longevity, it, it's not a room filler but it's going to leave a hefty scent trail as you pass by, which I think is a good thing. Um, compliment rating, compliment factor, highly complimented. This is one that has a mass appealing quality to it. It's very easy to love for me. And um, type of person this is for, to me, we're, we're hitting 30, 30 up. I, I just don't see a lot of 20 year olds really rocking this like that. Now, again, people wear what you want to wear, but for me, you hit that 30, you need to start stepping it up a little bit, right? Step it up a little bit and get you some of this. How to wear this? I'm I'm with my guy bow tie. It, it, I'm not doing 20 sprays of much of anything, if I'm going to be honest with you. And that's a story for another <laughs> video on why I wouldn't. I don't want to be seen as the person who took a bath in fragrances. So for me, I'm only going about with a date for about four sprays on this. And again, um, I'm going shoulders, center to chest, and I'll go on the wrist. So as I'm talking, because I like to talk with my hands, it's wafts, wafts, wafts. It's nothing but a fan. So that's <laughs> where I'm going with that, with, with this. And that's my number eight fragrance, and that's Ivory Root. I like Brother, that. Something some, some some unique right there. You got to get your nose on it. I certainly right. will. We're going at number seven. What you, what you got? Number seven, another one. I just gotta shake my head, my brother. Mm. <laughs> All I can say is this, you know, and I don't. I'm not bragging, but my missus ain't my missus ain't hard on the eyes. You dig? And this is her absolute favorite fragrance on me. I have not, and let me. I ain't gonna address that right now. We doing something else. I'll address that another time. Mm. But I don't know what some of these other dudes doing with their fragrances and they not getting compliments. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they, I mean, you can't be at that, you can't work from home and sit out in the house in sweatpants and a t-shirt and say, man, I don't get compliments. Uh, well, I doubt you will. Anyway, date night. My God, is this sexy. It is from probably the sexiest, one of the top two sexiest fragrance brands in my humble opinion, the house of by Killian. I always say, if you want to take her straight to heaven, <laughs> straight to heaven extreme from by killing. 
<laughs> go, go ahead. I ain't, go, I ain't great, jumping in. Hey, man, great minds think alike, man. Great Listen. minds think alike. See, that's... Uh, <laughs> we heard it. She just screamed. Enough said. Do I need to say anything I, else? To be honest, if, if they... Most people here have watched. Equality, you, you had it too, right? I, I, listen, <laughs> they think I'm. They think I. They think I'll be putting on when I talk about how good this is. <clears throat> listen, man. Listen. I told. Listen. I told you. I like to be very suggestive with what I wear. All right. Anytime booze is involved, mm. a lot of times, you know, you guys know a lot of your your good date nights. If some booze has been involved, right? Dried fruits, cedar wood, all right? That rum in here. And like I said, man, if you could get, I know it's discontinued, continue, but if you get your hand on the original straight to heaven, you still gonna get the essence of this, but it's not as full. Straight to heaven extreme is fuller. They amped up the rum. They amped up the cedar wood in this. And a note that people don't really talk about as much is the patchouli in this mm. when it dries down. Okay. One of my top favorite notes, I got six. Patchouli is one of them. It's just it's just crazy sexy, all right? So, you know, you could go, I do three or five sprays on Straight to Heaven Extreme. It really just depends on where I'm going, all right? If, if I'm going somewhere where I want to be noticed, I go five. You know mm. what I'm saying? I'm trying to lay a little bit lower key, although people still going to smell it. I do three. And my three mm. spray routine is both sides of the necks and then the chest. You know mm. what I'm saying? So... But you can get away with either. But it's just a sexy fragrance. And again, that's what this is about. That's what I think about when I do date nights. Most of the time, I think sex appeal. And this is just sexy. You know, like I said, you Mm. want to take her straight to heaven. Just from an olfactory standpoint. Then this is one that you want to get in your collection. Well, at least get a sample. They do have samples out there. People get mad when I talk about it. They're like, man, I can't get it. All right. So... If you can, some way, somehow, get your hands on this. I'm just telling you, man. <laughs> this is it right here. Uh, again, I'll go 30 plus on this. I don't really see a 25 year old pulling this off. I go, I move the needle a little bit, 30 plus. Um, compliment factors. It, it works. next level. Yeah, that, it works. Next level. Compliment uh, factor. Any year, any season, any season. <laughs> it summertime. Oh. Oh, it yeah, it, right. it's, it go it go hard in the summer. Oh, low key, it go mm. hard in the summer. It go mm. let the wind catch this in the summer. Game over. But that's that's my next one, man. I t- my wife told she texted me and said I'm talking too much, so I'll be quiet. But straight to heaven, extreme mm. by Killian. Yeah, yeah. They they should know. They should already know by now. And I'm gonna tell y'all people <laughs> for people watching this and might be upset because they can't get it. There is a quick alternative because I knew my brother would choose that. He. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't purposely pull that out first because I knew he was going there, and that's he's been he's been giving that love way more than I have. Um, but if you want a good alternative, that's even more beast mode because Killian has this very seductive, like silky kind of feel. Go yeah. with Tiziana to Renzi, Ursa. Orion. Yeah, oh, Orion? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I'm sorry, Ursa, Ursa. I have Orion in my hand in both white bottles, but yes, you're right. Go with go with Ursa. It, it has that added ooh to it. It's more vanilla. It's just more beefier. So in the wintertime, and I thought I had Ursa in my hand, but you're right, Ursa. Um, I heard I heard about that one with Straight it, to Heaven Extreme, but I, and I think I've smelled it before, man. So yeah, I, I agree with you 100% on that. I think it's a real good alternative, man. That or, like I said, the original Straight to Heaven is just not as beefy, but right. yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Okay. um, You made me shuffle some things around here. <laughs> um, because listen, people, that is that is we ain't gonna talk about it because we'll be talk, we'll just end up talking about straight to heaven for hours. So we're not gonna talk shall we hate this straight to heaven the stream for hours. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with a fragrance that was recently released. This fragrance is an incredible leather fragrance. Okay, it's fruity, it is it has this booze quality to it that makes it extremely sexy. Since you went booze, <laughs> it's only right that I go booze. All right. This Let's thing see. is blended to absolute perfection from one of the more popular houses in Fragcom. Again, 
from the house of Zerzhov. This is Tony Iomi Monkey Blend oh, Special. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Monkey Blend Special. Listen, people. Uh, passion fruit, booze, dried apricots, leather, leather, Ooh. leather. Listen, people. <laughs> you talk about sex appeal. This is this is John Wick. This is this is I would even wear this formally. This is like bad boy formal though. This is gala. This isn't like <laughs> office kind of setting at the tables and jazz is playing. This is a gala. If if you ever lived in a big city and they have those New Year's Eve parties where everybody dressed up and they in there, but it's a dance, it's really a club, but everybody in tuxedos. You want to dress this down? You want to first date steak? This is so. This is steakhouse kind of stuff right here. Seafood, yes, is too, seafood is too light for me. This is steakhouse. Um, so that's the case. Projection and longevity. It is to me. It's not a room filler, but that's probably because I'm not going to put 15 sprays on. Um, but it has some definitely some lasting power. Um, great siage though. Type of fragrance where you pass people, they'll smell it. Compliment factor. It's not as high as straight to heaven stream. I'm gonna keep it a buck. <laughs> it, it is not that it is a good fragrance people straight to having streams next level i'm gonna keep it a buck on this one this is comparable it's a battle but it's not but compliment factor i've been i've I judged it at about a six i haven't wanted that much because i haven't had it long enough so i'm just going to be honest with you all if i don't have a lot of wear with it i'm not going to tell you it's the most complimented fragrance in the world because that would be disingenuous and i'm not a salesman and i'm not trying to sell you on nothing but for people who have worn it, they say they get a lot of compliments. For me, it's been kind of a 50-50, so about a 6 out of 10 on the compliment factor. But I believe if I wore it more, I would get more out of it. Type of person, uh, we're in almost 35. 35. That that booze and leather and, and, and fruitiness, I, I, just, I don't see a person 25 really getting with this. Although, depending on the kind of person you are, you might be able to pull it off like upper 20s upper 20s and um how to wear it for me this is a four spray fragrance and that might almost be too much but i just love to get wafts of it in that rum everything about it this is grown and sexy this is jerzhoff tony iomi monkey blend special perfection pulling out some heat gotta pull I, I had to go there i didn't plan on pulling that out that early but i had that, to go there. that that tony iomi i'm telling you that's a special special fragrance absolutely I don't think it really has gotten the attention that it deserves. I could be because of the name. <laughs> but mm. I was a little, I don't know. I, was a little, I said it when I talked about it. I was a little, something about the name Monkey. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. But it, it could be. But I, the fragrance itself, my God. Yeah. We it's, almost it's at the halfway point, right? Yes. Yep. We So we had, uh, you should be going number five, and then we're going to swap, and I'm going to start off at, um, hold on. Okay. Yeah. So you go, you go now, and then I'll go, and then I'll start off the next round. In football, you when you're going into the halftime, you want to try to score, mm. right? I don't care if you put three on the board. I don't care if you put you want to put seven, but if you can put three, we'll take three. What you don't want to do is what my man Dak did in the playoffs against San Francisco, and that's turn the ball over and let them score. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so to go into the halftime, man, I think anybody has put their nose on this saying I'm about to put seven on the board. It's from the house of Maison Francis Cook John. Mm. Ooh. Satin. Ooh. When you were in school, they told you to pay attention. It's not that you were not intelligent in most a lot of cases, but you didn't pay attention. You didn't take good notes. I need you to do both. If you listen to a name of a fragrance, guys, it will tell you or it will give you a, a good indicator of its purpose and its intent. If you want to set the right mood on a date, ooh, satin mood, we'll get the job done. Now, what I love about this fragrance is obviously it has two varieties of rose, all right, Turkish and Bulgarian rose. So you get rose all day in this fragrance from top to bottom. You pick up rose. Obviously, it has oud. 
the vanilla in this to me gives a somewhat creamy it's kind of a creamy vanilla all right there's different mm. varieties of vanilla that's just another topic for another day as well but the vanilla comes off kind of creamy and then there's violet in here it's very powdery but i think that violet offsets you know the oud and kind of neutralizes the oud i'll say it that way so it's powdery not overly powdery this is sexy all right formal occasions for me as a matter of fact when we went out this is one was my scent of the night all right formal occasions if you're doing the regular or the parfum five sprays if you're doing it straight three all right this is definitely grown and sexy the same the same you ain't playing no games with this now all right now you could do a nice steakhouse or again i could go definitely a more sexier setting than that like i talked about earlier somewhere low lights you know what i'm saying just you and her like tony 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 oh baby <laughs> This is some sexy stuff right here, man. Uh, and then for on me, this thing performs all day long. And like I said, I'm not even gonna talk about the straight. Yeah, I gotta wash that off. All right. Like he, like equality said, when I get players eight hours, I stop I stop taking count a lot of times on performance. Definitely performs and projects, man. Mm. Man the house of MFK. Ooh, satin mood. Ooh, satin mood is a good one. Um, hmm. Oh man, that's 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 a good one. I, got I know you got some heat over there, E. That's I, I I have some. I have some. I, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and stick with my go-to. This is one people don't people don't know about. Let me move some stuff around. This is one people don't know about. I'm I'm gonna stick with stick with the game plan. This <laughs> fragrance is um. This fragrance is sexy. This this is one people don't have. This is sandalwood. I know that my guy Bowtie loves sandalwood. I love some sandalwood. This is rose drizzled with cacao. Oh my. It has some has some spiciness to it. Although not listed when you start looking up the notes, I feel like there's a little bit of cinnamon drizzled on top. So creamy sandalwood, beautiful rose. Buttery, powdery cacao with a little bit of cinnamon. This is from Serge Loutons. This is Santal Majuscule. Oh, I love that one. <sighs> Good. <laughs> when you talk about date night, sexy, just grown adult with some foreplay, this is, as, as our brother... Kevin Samuels would say, this is that player type fragrance. <laughs> this, this is the one that creep up on you. Player flirt. <laughs> this player flirt. This is the one that she didn't know she wanted to smell. Mm. It, 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 listen. Impeccable blending. It just works. Occasions. This, because it's not a loud fragrance, this isn't a room filler. This isn't one that's going to leave a monster resiage. Because it has subtleties to it, I would dress this up formally. Because I think there's times in formal occasions where you want subtlety. This is one that has that. Um, projection and longevity, again, sets relatively close to skin. Nothing that's going to come out. But when you start giving hugs and somebody in your close proximity, which is what a date is, people. I don't... <laughs> If she can smell you across the room, I don't know if she wants to be. That's for another day. <laughs> this is sex in a bottle. This is cozy, intimate. This is even Netflix and chill. Let me tell you how sexy this is. She's coming over your house. You cooking dinner. Y'all been together for a while. You dressed up. You have the music playing. The great Anita Baker on the soundtrack. Or some Barry White. Maybe some old school new edition, some silk. I don't know. You got dinner cooking. She can smell the aroma. The table is lit. You give her a hug at the door. Your house is smelling good like candles. The vibe is nice. <laughs> this is, this is, I'm going to lay it down. She wants seduction. This is foreplay. A good session of foreplay. 
And foreplay isn't just mouth on mouth. That's mental. That's intimacy. That's touch. That's in in order to <laughs> regurgitate things that she say. You're paying attention. This is play a flirt. <laughs> in the words of our guy Kevin Samuels. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, age group, age group on this again. Um, eh, it's 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 playful. So I think 25, you can start playing around with this. 25 and up, you can play around with this. It's inexpensive if you can find it at discounters. It's not gonna break the bank. Um, how to wear it with this. If it's coming over the house, maybe three, four sprays. If I'm going out to dinner, like a steakhouse where it's gonna be some drinks and stuff, maybe about six, seven, depending on, but more under the five, six range because it's not a beast mode fragrance. Absolutely love this. This is Santal Majuscule from Serge Luton's. So good one. Good one. one of We're my at the half. Favorite sandalwood fragrances. Oh, Stupid. absolutely stunning. We're Stupid. at the halfway point, people. Real quick, let's do a tally. Let's do a tally. I know it's, it's going to be a little delay. Go ahead and put some money in the chat if you think Darian's winning so far. Put fire <laughs> in the chat if you think I'm up. Put fire in the chat. Y'all know what it is. If you my subscriber, which you probably he is too, but I don't care. Put fire <laughs> in the chat. I'm a bribe you. <laughs> Put some fire. Yo, in the, chat. the money is the bribe, though, right? <laughs> the money is the bribe. Like football, we going into the half. Got to got to slip you some money. Let's get some fire in the chat. <laughs> All right, we ain't gonna hold it on too long. Looking at the time, so we are gonna move on along. Coming in at my number number five. No, we're at number four. Yes, we got Ten, five nine, more. Eight, seven, six. Oh yeah, this is number five. Yeah. So coming five. in, coming in at number five, because I'm starting it off now. This fragrance, <laughs> I hate is discontinued. People uh -oh. did not know about this fragrance. This, when you talk about rose and chocolate, so a lot of rose and chocolate fragrances just don't always work. Sometimes it's too much, it's too artificial, or it's, it's not blended just right. One that comes to mind is Mansur's Roses and Chocolate. Um, I used to kind of somewhat like it. I don't even wear it no more. Um, <laughs> but this fragrance is absolute perfection. Take rose, chocolate, cinnamon, and rum. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> it really gets no better than this when it goes to rose and chocolate in its genre. Don't get me wrong, to back rose is stunning. But when it comes to pure rose and chocolate and sexy and romance or Valentine's Day, this takes the cake. This is from the house of Guerlain. This is Gourmand Conquin. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Gourmand Conquin. Listen, <laughs> chocolate, <laughs> almost think of a chocolate liqueur. Think of a chocolate liqueur um, with a nice rose blend with it, topped with cinnamon. I mean, that's just it. What you get in the beginning is, is fairly linear, but you don't smell like you're just dumping chocolate over you. There's certain fragrances like that, uh, one that you might choose, don't say it. Um, Noir Aphrodisiac has that kind of like very wearable chocolate scent where it's gourmand, but still sexy in its own way. This one, it's where it's at. I hate to bring this up because it is discontinued, <laughs> and I do not know an alternative to this fragrance. If you know an alternative, put it in the chat. But this is just it, 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 it. listen, occasions. Occasions because it's chocolate. Me personally, if a woman, now if you're a woman watching this and you're thinking, because it's just date night. I know it's men and most of our channels are filled with men, but women, if you're watching this, this is formal worthy. Me, I wouldn't do a chocolate scent formally per se, not really. I, I would probably go elsewhere, or at least if it was a little bit more rosy, I would probably go a formal, but it's that nice blend. So for me, this is more of a casual scent. This is more intimate. This is somebody coming over. This is Netflix and chill. This is this isn't really a bar scent. You know, this is where why don't you come sit next to me at dinner kind of scent. This is 
you're going to smell absolutely exotic, interesting. She's not going to expect it. It's just it romance all the way. This is Gourmand Conquin. Stunning. Oh, my. Oh, my. Nah, I've never put my nose on that one. But I agree with a lot of things you said about our chocolate fragrance. Mm. Right? Especially not, especially the whole formal thing. I wouldn't do chocolate formal. But that being said, there is a fragrance that has oh. rolling chocolate that I think is really, really good. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It is from the house. Kimmy Blending Magic. I talk about it quite often. This is called Aurum. Mm. This has one of the most, well, probably the most realistic strawberry note that I've ever smelled. And I know we have Zerjov La Capital, which that's another, I like the strawberry in that. But this, my friends, is roses, strawberries, and chocolate. Again, we're being suggestive here. All right? And you tell me what woman does not love roses, strawberries, and chocolate. And this is chocolate-covered, authentic strawberries covered in chocolate with a dozen roses on the side. Now, Aurum, which is the name of this fragrance, is a Latin translation of gold. And this is liquid gold in a bottle. When you talk about date nights, this is liquid gold in a bottle because it says and suggests everything that I think, well, almost everything that is appropriate for or that comprises a good date night. Strawberries, roses, and chocolate. And when it dries down, you get this a beautiful the a patchouli of the chocolatey, what we call the chocolatey variety in some vanilla. My God, this stuff is good. Now, again, I would not wear this formally. Definitely smart, casual, casual. All right, so there's a place here in Columbia that I can think of off the top of my head. It's called Grand. So it, it's, it, it, it kind of gives formal vibes, but it's definitely not a formal environment. There's a bar there. There's actually you can do bowling, and there's actually you can have dinner. So it's kind of, you know, uh, you can do a variety of different things. You can kind of have all kinds of date nights all rolled into one. That's what I kind of see this kind of fragrance for. Mm. Okay. But I definitely wouldn't do it uh, formally, but my God, I will do it from the standpoint of a sexy date night fragrance. All right. So with this one, I go five sprays. Again, it's not a huge projector. You know what I mean? But again, date nights. Mm. I, don't really, I don't really care if we project that much because as long as the person that I am with can pick up on my scent, which means I want her in close proximity anyway. So I don't want it to be shooting across the room. I want it to come in a little bit closer. Perfect. All right. Perfect. 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 This is 30 and up. But just because of the scent profile, 25 year olds don't really rock with this kind of stuff. Let's just keep it above. But this mm -hmm. is good, man. It's from the house of Kimmy Blending Magic. It's called Aura. Woo. Um, you said a word. Again, people, <laughs> I know for a year, year and a half, it's been 50 spray. Let's get it. <laughs> let, 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 that, that, that's cool for traction. Let's in real life, let's let's not. Don't be that guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting you on the game. Don't put them on. Don't, eh? don't don't be that guy. The, but Come again, on. depending on your culture, if you're in a certain culture and they're putting they then you know rock out. But I know in most cities in America, <laughs> that's that ain't gonna fly. But to each his own. Enjoy yourself. So that's a good one. I'm almost hate that I'm going first now, because I already know where you're gonna go after this. Uh -oh. But I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna stand. I know what you're going for your number one. I just think it's only fitting because we've both spoken about this particular note. So I already know where you're going with number one. That I already know where you're going. I got something for that. So we're gonna go with something <laughs> that I know you're coming. I already know what you're coming with. But this is a fragrance. It's a few things in life that I absolutely love. That's rose, amber. I love ouds. 
I mean, I love a variety of notes. Let me keep it a buck. My palate is impeccable. I love everything, which is why I don't go out and buy everything. Because then I would just buy it all. That's why I say buy things that blow you away. Just loving it and being nice ain't worth you spending your money on. But this one blew me away. In a sea of impeccable and incredible amber scents, this reigns supreme. Only three people have ever talked about this amber fragrance. Cubano, my guy Big Beard, and myself. This is one that's discontinued, but there's a company that I believe is called Genos, which has a fragrance out. Somebody leave it in the chat that's supposed to, they basically rebrand it and put it out. It's not supposed to be reformulated, but I only speak on things that I know not things that I assume, and I have no knowledge how close they are. So take that with a grain of salt, but get you a sample. <laughs> so it's still out there, but I don't know what to be this. This is from Arshia, and this is Persepolis Ombre Intense. This fragrance right here, this is a amber fragrance for people who don't really like amber. Amber can be real resinous. It can almost be animalic, go really labdanum heavy. Amber is an accord for those who don't know. So there's a lot of different notes. This is almost, it's very vanillic, resinous, balsamic. Feels like there's some sandalwood, some spices in here. This is just, this to me blows Amber Absolute, Ombre Aria, Grand Soir. There whoa, isn't whoa, an whoa, Amber. Whoa, whoa. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely out of the box. Look, again, Gino's has this fragrance. I don't know it to be the same. Take that with a grain of salt. But this, <laughs> if you have this, <laughs> it, it almost smells gourmand. It's, it's like fresh myrrh, unburnt um, frankincense, woods. Ombre Persepolis, Ombre Intense. Um, occasions. This to me is a wintertime scent, very cold weather. So I would wear this casually. I don't, there's not many ambers unless it's amber and rose that I really do formally. I love my roses formally. I just think rose and men in suits go hand in hand. You would agree with me on that. Um, it's, it, it's just, it's, it's nothing more masculine. It's just not. But so this is something I like more casually, sweater, hoodie, things of that nature. It's just a nice casual. It has a coziness to it. Like most ambers in the grand scheme of it. Um, so that's the occasion projection and longevity. I get, I'm, I'm well past eight hours on this. Well past. We're going into the 10 hour range. Um, projection, not a room filler, but then again, I don't do multiple sprays on this. I might do four sprays. If I'm going out in public and I'm moving around, I might do like six if I'm moving around. And that's two behind the legs. Like if I'm going to a bar, but this is a date night. So I'm only doing three sprays of this. Maybe two. Maybe two, <laughs> depending on the sensitivity of the woman that you're dating when it comes to scents. So that's how many sprays. Type of person this for is Ambers. I don't see anybody really... I'm going 30, 30 and up is how I would go with that. So that's um, Arshia, Ombre, Intense, Persepolis. Again, I'll I'll try to put a link in the bio somewhere about Geno's. I don't know it to be the same because I haven't tested it, but it's still somewhat available. And I use air quotes somewhat. And that's my number four. Go ahead and bring on what I already know you're about to bring on. You've been talking about it lately. I know you want to do it. Go ahead and you know do what? it. I, I, might I know you won't do it. I, I might not have it on here, man, because I, I had to employ a different strategy. Okay. Uh, because you because I was going first, as you notice, we probably we bumped on two, maybe two or three of these because since I was going first, I had to get those out. Mm. But I still got some heat in the artillery. But I doubt it's this one that you were talking about because I really have only heard one other person personally mm. talk about this fragrance. It's a fragrance brand that I don't hear a lot of talk about. All right? It's from the house of 4162 Tuesdays. Mm. It's called K2. 
captured by mm-hmm. candlelight. My God. Brothers, if y'all, listen, if y'all can hear me out there, captured by candlelight, again, classes in session, listen to the name, captured by candlelight. It tells you the intent of the fragrance. Now, that may be cheating a little bit, but it is what it is. Captured by candlelight opens up with a sweet toffee note. All right? You got a sweet toffee in there. You're going to get a booziness that's coming from cognac. And you have that whole thing that you get from by Killian's uh, Angel Share, that whole aged in oak barrel kind of cognac vibe from this. Now, as it dries down in the cognac and the oak barrel starts to really be more of a, of a uh, player in this fragrance, it starts to get this really smokiness, okay? And that's where the whole candlelight thing comes from with this fragrance, all right? So it, it's a combination of that oak, bar- that oak note, the cognac, and cinnamon. Now this is all these things are drizzled with a with a honey beeswax accord. Game over. Game mm. over. This is from the house of 4162. It's called Captured by Candlelight. And it is all in the name of the fragrance. It tells you exactly what the intent is. I do not see, and again, we say it's take this part with a grain of salt because anybody can wear what they want when they want in reality. I could, you know, in the summertime, I could take interlude man and spray it a hundred times if I wanted to. So if you want to go with that, that mindset or that thought process, but this, I definitely see this is 35 and up. This is not formal, but this is semi-formal or I would say smart, casual, casual settings. Perfect for a situation like I just had last weekend. We went to a place called a melting pot. It's very intimate. The lights are very low. You have, uh, you are, they bring you your different, your your cooking styles and you, and this is you and your lady. And, you know, you are preparing or cooking your food. It's just the two of you. That's kind of the vibe. That's, it's that kind of atmosphere. This is just super sexy and intimate. Again, toffee, cognac, beeswax, cinnamon, and cognac. I mean, mm. come on, man. Come on, man. I'm going five phrase with this all day long. It's from the house of 4162 days. This is called Captured by Candlelight. That's that. Mm. Yeah. Talk, I, hey, I, listen to the notes, E. Listen to the notes, Talk to him. Tell the people again. Tell the people again. Toffee, cognac, cinnamon, beeswax, mm. and oak. Okay. It's okay. stunning. It's stunning. Imagine mm. Killian's angel share. It's not as sweet as angel share. Mm -hmm. We're going to have like the praline and all those different, you know, very sweet notes and accords from that. But imagine Killian's angel share just more smoky, not as sweet. That's exactly Mm. what that is. So it's a little bit more mature than that. Stunning. Okay. Stunning. Stunning. I got one for you. Come with it. I wish I was coming. Like, I wish it was, (laughs) I wish it was before me on this. (laughs) <laughs> but but because I don't know what you're gonna bring after this, but I agree with you in your opening. There's a few things that make a sexy date night scent. You have rose, you have leather, you have tobacco. So I'm about to venture down tobacco road. And when you got tobacco, a good booze is always on par. Okay, this fragrance is one. I was the. I'm the first reviewer to talk about this fragrance. I think people know where I'm going. <laughs> I put the pump on this fragrance. It started getting hyped and larger channels started getting it. I put it in Facebook groups. And then literally the day I did my, I think it was my best pickups of like 2020 or something like that. The next day it was sold out. How do I know? Because I look for things like that. This is tobacco. I believe rum, a little bit of chocolate. Some earthiness is ambery. This is dried fruits. Stunning. This is from Les Ande Umidablis, and this is Vini Havan. I mm. put. All right, imagine Creation E 
almost, almost, and put a little bit of chocolate in it. Mm. Oh my God. This is amazing. <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody who has this, listen, date night, this is not formal for me. This is this is player flirt. This is player flirt. This is bad boy. This is this is like you went there, you didn't want to play no games with her. It's a date, but you wanted to let her know, listen, I'm kind of a hot commodity and I got a roster I can go to, but I want to devote my time to you. This is semi-special for me to be in your presence, although I want you. But don't play around because I could be over here too. Di- <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> Occasions, again, casual. Projection longevity. I'm getting 10 hours on this. I, d- I just stopped counting. It doesn't matter because for a date night, again, five hours is all I really need. <laughs> and to be honest, you really don't need that because once you give her a hug and she smell you for the first time, which is generally speaking in the beginning of the date, she already knows what you smell like for the rest of the night. It doesn't really matter. But you like to smell yourself because we're all fragrance junkies. So we we like fragrances. Um, it just lasts. Um, projection is not a room filler. I'm glad it's not because then it would be too much. But it has great siage. Great siage on this. Compliment rating and factors through the roof. Through the roof. Compliments galore. I haven't had anybody who has smelt this who did not like this. Has not. Um, type of person this is for 25 and up. I think I think you can go 25 with this. You can because you in the bar, you kind of bar hopping 25 and up. Listen, like you said, speak easies, things of that nature. It's just gonna it's gonna flow. Um, and how to wear it. I typically go four to five sprays with this. If now, if I'm moving through a crowd and I'm at the bar by myself and I'm single hopping, I might go six. I might go six, but I <laughs> but I leave it at about three to four, three to four on a date. You don't need much on a date. This is Vinny Havana. Stunning. That's, That's my number one I got to get my nose on, man. You 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 have to get your nose on this, bro. Have is that discontinued? Um, No, no, it, it is not discontinued. If you can just find it in stock. But no, I think uh, Lucky Scent had it. That's where I got mm-hmm. mine from like years ago. So it should still be around. Okay, bet. All right, so All we, right. Got, we got three more left here. Yeah, we got three. Now, this three. is a fragrance that I have talked about quite a bit here recently. And I just want to be 100% transparent and clear about something. When I do my videos, I, there's no putting on. If I love something, I love it. Period. And I love amber, Okay. And I have probably about what I would consider to be a, at least 20 to 25 really good amber fragrances. You have amber absolutes of the world. Uh, ombre, uh, what's it called? Ombre Sultan, I think it is. Um, I have uh, Ombre Aria from Perfume Aroma. I got some great amber fragrances, all right? And this came into my collection and immediately went into the top five. Mm. It's all in the name. It is all in the name from the House of Narcotica. Doza. Amber Intense. I knew you was going there. My God. Have you ever smelled this? I, so I got an order from Lucky. I have a sample. I, and I think I'm, see, I have so many. So I have so many Ambers. I'm still kind of like figuring out. When I'm buying all this stuff, I'm trying to figure yeah. out: Do I need it? You know what I mean? It's like, do I need it? Do I? But it it is worth. It's bottle worthy. It is bottle worthy. It depends on what your collection looks like and how you want to spend your money. But it is a bottle. Matter of fact, keep go ahead and talk, brother. I'm gonna go ahead and find my sample. It's over Listen, here. man. A fragrance that I could talk about is not on the list, but I talk about French Lover from Frederick Mall, which I think that's just straight up grown man sexy. If you got, if you got, although I don't have salt and pepper, but if you got salt and pepper, just get French Lover and call it a day. All right? Doza. Now, don't be thrown off by the opening because it's green as I don't know what in the opening. That's coming from Cypress, which is not one of my favorite notes. But man, give it two minutes. You got very spicy. It's Cypress. It's Sichuan pepper. But when the amber 
kicks in on this fragrance and there's a note of vanilla bean. That's something I made reference to earlier. It's not your typical vanilla. This is a more of a, mm. vanilla bean is more gourmand vanilla. And mm. that combines with the amber in here and the cognac. Yeah. Y'all, you got to smell it. That's all I can say that I'm not putting on about this fragrance. You got to smell this thing, especially from about three minutes on. Because again, I know that cypress and that Sichuan pepper, it's for connoisseurs, but my God, this stuff is sexy. My God, this is sexy. And this is the perfect date night fragrance. Because again, when you're leaving the house anyway, unless you're like me and you're married, but especially you guys that are single, by the time you get there to pick her up, hopefully y'all driving. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't having her to pick you up. Uh, but once by the time you get to a man, it's going to be all in the mix of this fragrance and it's in the name. Narcotica, this house, it, this, this fragrance is addictive. And that's the best way that I can describe this fragrance. It is addictive. The scent profile, it performs like a champion. All the fragrances from this house are straight to parfum. So we starting at eight hours on that. It projects really good for the first about five hours. And anybody that really knows fragrances, especially on skin, for something to really project strongly for about five hours is really saying something. And although it has a lot of oil concentration in it, it still projects. So I love the way, however they were able to accomplish that, where it still projects, because usually a lot of oil you slits, sits close to the skin. But it sits close to the, it, it, but it performs and it projects. And when it hits the skin, it's just magic. All right? This is definitely formal. Smart casual. I would not do this casually. It just ain't going to feel right. <laughs> you got to put something like this on your skin, man, when you go on someplace and you're trying to be the best smelling guy in the room. And you want to make sure that your date understands that from the moment that she that you get there to pick her up when y'all meet eyes. Mm. She understands you there for business with this one. Okay? 35 and up. Performed like a monster is from the house of Narcotica and it's called Doza, which by the way means handsome. Mm. Yeah, so this one I had a sample of it. I'm gonna give it give it some more wear, but I agree that that opening is green, is woody. So yeah, you but at the same time, people don't experience fragrances the way we do because what we do, we put them on hand, we go straight the nose, which nobody smells it that way. When they smell it in the air, you're probably not, you're not even getting all that. You're not even getting all that. This this is definitely a bottle-worthy fragrance. Definitely oh a God, bottle man. worthy fragrance. Yeah. Wait, wait till it wait till it cooks on the skin. Just just give it about 10 minutes. Go go back yeah. to it in 10 minutes. Yeah, it's mm. very woody. It's almost like oody a little bit, but yeah. not as but not smoky. It's almost like oud is in here. Oh man, I'm telling you, that's that, that's that um that tobacco because it's tobacco in there too is that mm. tobacco in there you know what i mean is that tobacco in there that vanilla bean it's it's crazy i love it. right it's sexy as i don't know what okay Do number I. two we're almost done here number two i'm gonna go with a fragrance that is hard to find i hate to say that something is discontinued because just because it's hard to find doesn't mean it's discontinued. And I haven't reached out to the company. So bottles come and go. This is a Herod's exclusive. This is still the best leather fragrance I have ever put my nose on. And it's not close. It's really not. This is a sexy and it's a designer fragrance. A luxury designer fragrance, but a designer fragrance nonetheless. This is from the house of Armani Privé, and this is Cure Majesty. Uh. <laughs> yeah. This one, I, I'm just mad I did not buy 100 ml because it's worth the price of a mission. You get some booziness in here. Leather. It's this osmantis in here that has this peachy vibe. So you get dried fruits. It's almost like apricots and stuff, but you get this osmantis with peachy. So it's this fruity, but yet earthy, because I believe oak moss accord is in here. This, some vanilla. <sighs> you, 
<laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be a, I'm, I hate to be a person that says like one of those you got, if you come across it and your pockets are right, I would always say, I don't suggest blind buys. I hate I'm about to say what I'm about to say. If you come across it and your pockets are right, you can buy it because it's such, it's so hard to find and it's such a rarity that if even if you don't like it, you can definitely get rid of it. Now, occasions. Oh, this can be formal. This can be absolutely formal. And you can dress this down as well. This is Steakhouse. This is Morton's. Smith and Lewinsky's. This is Valet. This is this is S580, AMG, S580. This is Ashton Martin, DB11. This is Alcantara headlines. This is skylights <laughs> in, in your car. <laughs> this is this is this is this is this is <laughs> it, it's sexy. So occasions, projection and longevity. You start getting over eight hours. Um, it's not a room filler, but with that oak moss uh, leather, the vanilla, the dried fruits, you you really don't want it to be. You don't want it to be. So it's not a room filler, but it has a good CR. Uh, types of person. <sighs> because of the leather, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 30. I'm I'm, I'm gonna hit that, I'm gonna hit that 30 and up. I'm gonna hit that 30 and up for this. Um, because <laughs> it's because everybody, what I found is Younger people really can't get with the oak moss because they like that with Hasavat. They they yeah. that oak moss is what I, in a, I'm in enough forms to know that a lot of younger people don't like the oak moss. And although this isn't earthy, super oak moss accord, but it has some some bite to it. Nothing crazy, no, but ha, has some bite to it. This is if you come across it, it is worth getting. As long as they're not jacking the price up, figure out what the retail is, and I would I would jump on it. That's me. But again, I don't like promoting consumerisms and say you need to buy everything. But it is elusive, so that's why I would say get it because you can always resell it. And that's uh, Cure Majesty by Armani Privé. Sexy man. Yeah, that was hard. That was real hard to get your hands. It on. is. It it is. Um, it, it, if you can find it at Harrods, it, it's it's literally one of those fragrances. I would say just get it. And if you don't like it, sell it because it is sale. <laughs> you it, get your money back. <laughs> You'll get your money back. You will sure. get your money back. All right. What you got at number two? Man. Now, uh, I wanted to do at least one more that was clean and fresh because, mm. again, I don't really clean, fresh, trans. This one especially transcends occasions, seasons, and reasons. Well, you can get something like this that is this clean, this fresh. And I'm going to tell you the magic of the fragrance again is that it has a host of floral notes in here. Floral notes really are a drawing for women. I mean, we know we said that, but I know I think her quality has said that before as well. Because they, they're, they're, they're used to that. They're used to smelling that in their own fragrances. But anyway... This fragrance comes from the house of Zhirjov. I want to have one more that's good for just, you ain't really got to think about where you're going on a date. You ain't got to think about what you're doing. You can throw this on. It's from the house of Zhirjov. This is Pico Valladama mm. from Zhirjov. Aldehydes. Clean, soapy aldehydes. It's powdery. There's some iris in here that definitely gives this powdery nuance to it. But my God, is this stuff good? Mm. And my God, does it perform? When you can get something that is this clean, this fresh, and again, the florals in here, and it just really performs the way that it does. Again, it's it's a it's definitely a an attraction. It's going to attract people to you because they're going to be able to pick this thing up. And it is the thing about it is sometimes you can gamble with a darker scent profile again especially if you're wearing something like oh sometimes it could be a gamble there ain't no gambling with this mm. you know what i'm saying like something that you can find is this wearable but not mass appealing by that same token you know what i'm saying it's not typical mm. all right because it, i'm gonna tell you it's hard to find this kind of quality and anybody that's ever put their nose on this can probably vouch for it uh this is one that you that you smell it and the eyes roll back 
in the back of their head. That's how good <laughs> Miss Bowtie going crazy in the, <laughs> the background <laughs> about this fragrance. Pico Vallandama, man, that dries down. You got some sandalwood in here again, some iris, some vanilla. It's just, it's magic. And like I said, you can do this. You can do this semi, semi, you know what I mean? You can do this casual. You can do this smart casual. You can do this formal. There's no restrictions on this fragrance because of the scent profile and the way it is composed. It's inoffensive. It's familiar, but it's mysterious at the same time, and that's hard to do. All right? Now, performance on this, again, for this kind of scent profile, you would typically find that it may fall into that five, six-hour time frame, not this. Eight-plus hours. Easy. Easy. Eight-plus hours, I'm picking it up on my skin. Nothing but facts. All right? So I wanted to have one more that was clean, all right? And it don't get no cleaner and no better than this fragrance right here from Jerjoff. It's Pico Valladama. Ooh, that's a good one. And 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 people, y'all have to understand, clean and fragrances are a bottle Ooh. opportunity, a bottle opportunity. And I know that the 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 wide sales and the things you can get at Macy's are loved by people, right? But sometimes when you wear something that's so good that they never smelt it before, that makes you more intriguing. Yes, it's sir. Like, what are you wearing? I have never smelt that. You are just imprinted. A new scent on her. We ain't gonna go into it. We ain't gonna go into it. Ooh, <laughs> if, 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 if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Okay. Going at number one. I already know where you're going. I think, only, <laughs> I, think it, I think it's only right that I should go there. It's only right, right? Your I know you got. My, it's only right. This fragrance is the king of rose fragrances. I know where you're going. I didn't do it. it, it I knew it you is, had, I, I, I let you have that one. I knew you were doing it, that. <laughs> it, it is. The, there is no other rose fragrance that this fragrance has every single rose in it that matters. May <laughs> rose. Taif. Like, this is exotic. That is the best way to describe it. This is an exotic fragrance. It also has other things playing around with it, like Turkish coffee, which is coffee and cardamom. So you have that Middle Eastern coffee thing. You have some spices in there. You have some, some shisha, which if you're not familiar with shisha, that's basically hookah on um, flavored tobacco. This bottle is stunning. Some would say it might be too gaudy for them, but I love it on the cabinet. It is a centerpiece kind of fragrance. This is from the House of Spirit of Dubai. This is when you want to smell like a king. This is, it, it, it gets no exotic than this when you start talking about rose fragrances. This is Nargisi. <laughs> this rose gold, a real rose on top, but the fragrance, it, it's expensive. This is, this is just going to run you. This is going <sighs> to. <laughs> Man. Man, it it, 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 it really, when you think of, every time I don't know how to describe this. And I have some great rose oog fragrances. I have like three other fragrances I could pull out. That is really on par with this. I can think of like three or four. But this just stands above it because of everything else that goes into it. It's just not, it's just not a, 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 a rose fragrance, just rose and rose in some woods are just rose and musk. It's rose with Turkish coffee, with shisha, a little smoke. It's ambery. It's sandalwood. It's it's like some leather nuances. It's oud in there, Indian of the Indian oud type, but not barnyard. And that's another thing. When I say, I think barnyard is almost too broad of a term for most people. Um, in description of ouds. When I say barnyard, especially when you start talking about Indian oud, I think of something that's earthy. So it has a patchouli type soiliness to it. It could yeah. be a little damp, almost like patchouli. And it has this hay feel to it. It has a hay woodiness, which when you add the two together, could smell like a barnyard. And that's how I would describe it. And Indian oud tends to go in that direction, depending on the age of it and everything. But this one is, this right here. This this is formal. This is black tie. 
This is this is dressed up. This is Valentine's Day. This is wedding. This is wedding. That's that. This is a special day. This is the birth of your child. This is this is it's that's it. That's all I got. Occasions. That's it. Projection longevity over 10 hours. It's not a room filler. I don't really like my rose fragrances room fillers per se. Um, but Siage is crazy. Compliment factor. Crazy. 10 out of 10 um, type of person is for. It's a listen. This is over thousand dollars. So we're, we're already 35 and up. But if you got a little bit of blend to you, you know, you're a young athlete. Who knows? Maybe an NBA player or somebody might be watching this. You got to get your nose on it. You just have to. When you want to smell like a king, you want to smell unique, at least in the western side of the world. I'm sure if you go over to Dubai and places like that, it's not as unique with the rose oo combo. But here on the western side of the world, it king of rose fragrances. It, it, I have not, it, this is, this is stunning. And it's sprinkled with diamond dust. It's just stunning. Spirit of Dubai, Nargisi. That's my number one. That's a good one. As a matter of fact, it's a great one. I knew you would have that one on here. Mm. <laughs> For my last one, I just wanted to go straight up and down. We ain't cutting no corners. We ain't holding back no punches. When you put this one on, she knows that you're there for a good time, if not a long time. This one is from the house of Arroja Parfums. This is Parfums de la Nuit, number two. Nicknamed by Rosa Parfums himself as the seducer. It's all in the name. If Mr. Rosa were here right now, we'll shake his hand. Mission accomplished. This is pure seduction in a bottle. And there are certain occasions that call for a fragrance like this. Okay? If you're going definitely. So the funny thing about it is because when you think about seduction, you really could, it really could be, you know, you could really have no restrictions on the environment. That's more about mindset. Okay? So if that's your mindset, is pure seduction, then it don't get much better than what I'm holding in my hand. And I'm just telling you that factually. Okay? Nickname the seducer in this fragrance. You have everything that makes for a great night. With the perfect nightcap. You got some booze in this fragrance as well. We got rum. You have a very smooth, vanillic benzoin in here. You got a little bit of civet. Now, like I said, shout out to Outcast, a little bit of skankonia in here. But it's just enough. It's just enough to evoke the imagery of what you want. Okay? Just a little bit. And I love the way that Rosa used the civet in this because... If you can have too much civet in a fragrance, it can it can get real bad for you real quick. But it's perfect in this fragrance. Again, give some balance to some of the sweeter, more ambery, more balsamic uh, nuances of this fragrance. And you got some very a very chocolatey patchouli and some sweet tonka to close it out. It's pure seduction. You got to get your nose on it. Like you were talking about with this fragrance, this is a very expensive fragrance. So, again, that normally puts it out of the range of a lot of people um, that are under the age of 30 because it's expensive. And I know when I was 30, before I became, you know, got older, I wasn't trying to spend no more than $100 on a fragrance. I'm just telling you the truth. So, from that standpoint, scent profile, I don't really see younger people wearing it. But, my God, this is the most seductive fragrance I have on the entire list. And it was Apple yeah. named the seducer. And that's exactly what it does. It seduces. It's seductive. It's from the house of Roger Parfum. Parfums de la Nuit, number two. That was a good one. That is a good <laughs> one. That is a good one. This, this people was a battle. Um, you know, everybody, real quick, real quick, put your put your fire. Remember, find a chat for me. Money in the bag for Darian. Light it up. We're gonna let y'all light it up for a couple of minutes. Light it up. Let's see, what we got. Light it up, yeah. light it up. Bird man, bird man. <laughs> <laughs> hey brother, um, 
listen, as I said before, people, at the end of the day, this was all fun. Um, listen, we we all win. In in collaboration, we all win. And and I've said this before. Somebody else liking what somebody else like doesn't take away from me. Right. I don't if you're a new reviewer, if people start watching you, it doesn't take away from me. There is no real for me any real competition. Again, I'm the kind of person I disappeared for seven months. I'm gonna try not to do that to y'all anymore because y'all <laughs> showing mad love on the lives. But to me, it's it's about the joy, it is about the love of fragrances. And this is a celebration in fragrances as well as collaboration and brotherhood. And um, my hat's off to you, Darian, um, with the tag videos. You didn't have to do that. Um, as I told you before, and we've talked, it, it's nothing but love. You, I didn't have to beg you. I didn't really have to pitch it. You was just like, I'm there on a Friday right. night. And you didn't have to be there. And I, and I truly appreciate that. Um, I appreciate you to the bottom of my heart. And again, for me, representation matters. Um, the battle I'm going with Sunday is going to be against my guy, our guy, Big Beer Business. And I told him the same. I told him the same thing, man. You know, when you start looking at who should I model or things that kind of get me into it, there's always that, oh, he reminds me of me. Or I see, I see myself in that and that. And this it's very inspiring. And for you to go. From a channel, as we all do. I went back and looked at that Polo Blue uh, review <laughs> back in June, Pretty Boy Fragrances, and uh, back back when you had the music louder than your voice, and people be in the comments oh, like, "Turn your music down." But to go yeah, from where man. you are, crazy. <laughs> show consistency. To you know, all praises, flowers due to you to go from where you are to over a hundred k and still climbing with consistent videos. And again, people, you want numbers. It's consistency, it's personality, it's keeping it real, it's being authentic, and people see straight through that. So I want to give everybody, give a round of applause for Darian for coming on here, the bow tie. Give his wife a round of applause when she shows, she's also shown love. Everybody, this is a celebration, and, and, and you know, this is what it was all about. I'll let you go ahead and have a word. Appreciate that, my brother. <laughs> um Listen, it's funny you bring up like the older videos and I haven't made those private because you know, at the end of the day, it shows the journey. And um, when I, just like you were saying, when I started, I was inspired by somebody. And I didn't, I reached out to a lot of people when I first started. And the reason why I am the way that I am is because nobody, nobody responded to me when I first got started. You know, I reached out and asked questions about certain things and I didn't get any responses. You know, so that shows that when you're passionate about something that, you know, you don't let stuff like that stop you. You know, you do it for the love of it. You know, I didn't know. I, I had no, it had nothing to do with monetary, it had nothing to do with numbers or anything. I just loved fragrances. All right. And that's why I did it. And that's why I kept going, you know, and everything that I've learned, I've learned pretty much on my own. I will say, you know, you know, shout out to Big Beard because he was one person that, you know, once we started, you know, uh, you know, trying to kind of conversing, you know, he told he shared some things with me uh, that really helped me to start growing more, um, you know, especially just on that, you know, on that the business side, quote unquote, of YouTube. Because, again, I didn't, nobody told me anything, you know, so, yeah. you know, I rock with people that rock with me and. You know, I know there's a lot of people that, that's, you know, over the past couple of years have kind of got into this same space on YouTube. And I'm really cool with somebody, you know what I'm saying, if, if they, like you said, if they rock with me, no, I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand, you know, how it felt to not have people uh, that had more subscribers or whatever the case uh, than me and then not uh, be responsive, you know, to, uh, to, to, you know, inquiries about certain things. And my questions really was just about how to grow, you know, or how to do certain things. Because as you said, I didn't know what that, you know, what I, mean? I don't even remember what app I used to do that video, but it was just, you know, <laughs> it, it was, it was bad, you know, but yeah. I love it because I can look at, I'll go and look at that video and then I go look at my last one. Mm. And to know that pretty much everything that I see on that video was self-taught. You know, it just shows me the power of, you know, tapping into something and going after it. 
You know what I'm saying? Being steadfast and like you said, being consistent. I didn't start uploading consistent content on YouTube until 2020. You know, mm-hmm. so from, from the from July of 2017 till March of 2020, I was doing like three or four videos a month mm-hmm. because it was never about any of that other stuff. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But anyway, I I want to say this as well. I appreciate you having me on, man. Like you said, when you asked me, it was no there was no second thought about it because I respect what you do. Um, I, I'm kind of like uh, I watch for a second. And I was watching your video. I was like, okay, first of all, you know, authentic. And number two, most importantly, he knows his stuff. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you, I could tell you knew your stuff and you wasn't trying to be like anybody else. Um, and that kind of stuff matters to me, you know, especially the authenticity. And especially, you know, when you can hear somebody uh, just have a, in a sense, a like mind with certain mm. things. Because a lot of these dudes, and I don't care what nobody's saying, I'm glad, you know, we got some people on it so I can say this real quick. I was talking to Big Beard one day, and I won't use names, but he said, man, you're going to notice when you start to really grow, when people are going to change up on you. Mm. And I can tell you for a full, I've never, ever said one word publicly about anybody. And even the people that have changed up on me, I still show them love because they don't take anything away from me. And people don't understand when they do that. And you can still show them love. That just increases your blessings. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Talk so a lot of people changed up, man. Mm. And they don't even understand that. For me, it was never about numbers. You know, and that's the thing about it. A lot of people just look at numbers. Yeah, it means something to an extent. But it's not everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, numbers right. is not everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think you're one of the most knowledgeable people in the fragrance community, and you don't have the most subscribers, but that doesn't change the fact that you're one of the most knowledgeable people. When you talk about fragrances and really knowing what they're talking about, mm. come on, man. So it's not really just about that, but a lot of people will change up on you. But I hear some of the things that you say, and we share a like mind from the standpoint of I don't worry about what anybody else is doing. You know what I'm saying? Somebody can make a uh, a video title about something that I totally think is just, you know, it's, it's, right. <laughs> I've seen some titles where I'm right. like, okay, I ain't no fragrance gonna get you a girlfriend. Right. But the thing about it is, at the end of the day, people gotta understand there's an entertainment aspect to this. And if you ain't entertaining people, ain't nobody gonna subscribe. And it's just, mm. that oh, we're gonna get into that. Man? If you but wanna have I, that conversation on your channel, I'll come yeah. on and we, we can, we can definitely get into that. Let's do it. Let, let's no, let's do it because we, we, we can. We can get in. I was gonna get in that on my side, but we can definitely get in that on your side. So let's yeah. say let's say that for a live. Let's, let's say that for a Darian live. You know, it, nah, set it up. Do it. Set it up. I'm <laughs> definitely going. I'm definitely free on Saturdays, or or even I can skip one of my Fridays and we can do it on a Friday. So let's we'll we'll talk offline on that, but we can definitely let's get into that on another video. Because okay. I know you. I know where you want to go, and we're gonna get into you it. You know, I, I, it needs to be said. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But anyway, I appreciate you having me on, man. It was fun. Like you said, we we set up as a battle. And I think this was a tremendous creative idea. Um, there was a lot of people on this live, you know, tonight. Hit the, uh, hit the so likes. Hit the likes, it, everybody. Hit the likes. Yeah. So that shows that it was something different. And uh, people want to see something different in the Fergus community. So I appreciate you having me on. Um, hopefully we do it again. You know, another subject matter. And yeah. um, much respect to you, my brother. Much respect. Everybody, thank you all for coming out. I'm not going to hit you with a God bless, good night. But what I will say is enjoy your fragrances. Enjoy your life. You only have one. You only have a little bit of time to appreciate it. And appreciate it instead of finding things to hate, find more things to love. And I'm going to leave you the way I greeted you. And that's in universal language of peace. 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 Salute.